Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? So, welcome to your readings for September 2018, yeah? Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to all the new subscribers, but thank you to all the returning subscribers. Uh, your support is everything to me. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, we just recently hit 10,000, and I'm super, super happy. I couldn't be more grateful. Thank you to all you guys. You are freaking amazeballs, yeah? <laughs> so, uh, just a few things. One, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, and the energies are interchangeable, okay? So it could be you that we're talking about. It could be the other person that we're talking about, if we're talking about another person. Um, these aren't necessarily love readings, but love definitely comes out because I am channeling for the Venus sign. Your Venus sign is uh, how you approach love, how your information about that. So if you are looking for information about like, your love life, I would recommend, me personally, I recommend that you always start with your Venus sign. You can find that out um, if you pull you know uh, pull up your birth chart yeah drop your birth chart now about birth charts um, I want to make a little bit of a uh, bit of a suggestion um, this might be a bit of a long intro if people want to leave a timestamp go right ahead um, but I do recommend that you guys listen to the intro at least once especially if you're watching like a bunch of different signs um, just listen to the intro at least once and then like do whatever um, but uh, I recently got into Vedic Astrology, which is uh, also known as Sidereal, I believe. Um, and uh, I did this because my spiritual team, my spiritual guides really pushed it for me to start investigating. And I did so. And I learned that my signs are different. Okay, So I always thought of, uh, I grew up as a Taurus. My sun sign was Taurus. But then when I did the Eastern chart, the Vedic chart, um, sidereal chart, I learned that my son is actually in Aries. And when, <laughs> when I learned about that and, and I really like investigated and I read it and I like felt it out, it, it immediately clicked. Like it felt right. I was like, Oh, Oh man. Because when I started to look back on like how I present myself, how I like how I work in the world and everything like that, um, I am very much an Aries. <laughs> So that makes sense. I still kind of resonate with Taurus, but um, very much in Aries. So then other than that, you know, in, in the Western chart, um, my moon sign was Leo and my rising sign is Venus. I'm sorry, rising sign is Venus. No, my rising sign is Virgo and my Venus is in Aries. But then in the Eastern chart, my moon sign is Cancer, my rising sign is Leo, and then my Venus is in Pisces. And when I looked at all that uh, that stuff too, I was like, oh my God, that makes so much more sense. Because when it came to the Western chart, I was like, how am I so intuitive, but I don't have, I barely have any water in my chart. I think in the Western chart, I think I have like one planet in Scorpio. Um, and it might, I think it might be Neptune or something. I don't know. But then when it came to the Eastern chart, there was all the water I was missing, right? So for me personally, things really clicked and I understood, I came to a better understanding of myself. So the reason why I'm sharing this with you guys is I encourage you to check that out. Um, you can watch my videos or any of the videos, whether you, whether you resonate more with Western or Eastern astrology, it really doesn't matter. It's just um, all about how you feel how this connects with you, how it resonates with you, okay? Um, so I'm, I put uh, some links to some websites to, that are, I find are to be really, really great um, in giving you your chart. Um, actually, there's one, there's one that actually will give you both, but I'll give you two, two different options. Um, they're going to be in this description box below, and uh, I encourage you guys to, you know, insert your um, your birth data, your birth information, and check it out. See what comes out, and if you resonate with something, go for it, and then start to watch the videos from that point of view. Like if now, if you all of a sudden you find that things are different when it comes to the Eastern chart, and you want, and you kind of resonate with it already, and you want to watch videos uh, in line with that, I encourage you to do so. You know, it's really all about what you resonate with, how, what you feel about the situation. Yeah. Okay. With that said, um, I'll, a few more things. One, you can find me in New York City at Om Shanti Bookshop. 
every Monday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Om Shanti is located on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue in the East Village of Manhattan. So come check me out if you're in the area. I would love to meet you guys in person. Um, the, uh, the link to the website uh, for Om Shanti Bookshop is in the description box below. So you can go to the website, get their phone number, give them a call. If you want to schedule a reading beforehand, you're more than welcome to do so. Or at the same time, walk-ins are definitely welcome. Um, and it's a great shop, you know, they've got all kinds of really nice stuff. The crystal selection is fantastic. So if you're into crystals, I recommend coming down and checking us out. We have a lot of great stuff there. Um, you can get some crystals wrapped and put into jewelry for you at the shop. Um, if you do want some crystal wrapping, ask for Martha. She's great at that. Um, what else? Oh, I am available for private readings. Uh, my email address is in the description box below, along with a description of all the readings that I offer, all in the description box. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go down into the description box, look at the options, read through them, see which one might, may work well for you, and then throw shoot me an email. If you don't know which reading would be best for you, go ahead and email me, and we'll chat, and I'll help you decide which one you would like, yeah? Okay, so for the readings this month, um, I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck, guys. I love it. It's just so pretty. And then I am closing out the readings with Oracle Guidance from my favorite, Oracle of the Unicorns. Yeah, I love unicorns. I personally believe that I am a unicorn, but you know what? That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> All right, guys. I guess that's it. Thank you for sticking in to with the with the long intro with me. If you did, if you didn't, don't worry about it. It's fine. You can't even hear this part of the message anyway. <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get to it. Hi, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the month of September 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah. Let's just get straight into it, shall we? <laughs> Hi, Spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Taurus to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of September 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Taurus. So, um... I'm seeing, I'm seeing two things. One, I'm seeing a deep, a deep green color. Um, it's the same color that I saw for Capricorn. Um, it's similar. I should have done this in the Capricorn video, but it's similar to this, the color of this stone here. I don't remember which stone this is. I have it written down somewhere, but um, it's really a gorgeous stone, but it's similar to this color. Um, but at the same time, I'm also seeing a really bright green color, almost like a, a I'm hearing, I, I'm hearing, um, a lime green, but it's not even a lime, well, yeah, I guess it is a kind of, it's kind of like a cross between a lime green and a neon green. And that one, uh, I don't really know how to feel about that color. It, it seems deceptive. It seems mischievous, um, playful, but not necessarily in a good way. It's like putting up a facade almost. So, okay, so what might be going on for you right now, Taurus, is that you're 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 kind of experiencing two separate things. Like you have this deep green color, which is very deep and very emotional. Um, it may it might be a heavy, a really heavy energy, um, but at the same time, yeah, okay. At the same time, you're putting up a facade with this. Um, lime green we'll call it this lime green color uh, kind of pretending like everything's okay when it may not be um you may need to do this um because you just have to keep going you have to persevere and that's taurus energy like taurus is very much a perseverance type of energy you know they just keep going they just keep pushing i'm hearing just keep swimming and the nine of wands is my just keep swimming card so you may just have to feel like you <clears throat> you just need to push through you just need to go and that's okay um you know okay we've got <laughs> we've got flyers here well my goodness look at that look at what just came out 
the nine of wands. This is exactly what I was talking about. I was hearing just keep swimming and here it is. The Nine of Wands. You've got the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, I'm, the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. What I'm feeling like is you're looking for this ultimate goal, this ultimate material fulfillment. You're looking for this family aspect, this family life. You're looking for your ultimate material fulfillment. Okay? And as a Taurus, you know, the material is very much where you're focused. And that's not a bad thing. I mean, you're an earth sign, you're a Tauren. But what I'm getting from this Ten of Pentacles energy is you just want, you want to provide this to someone. You want to be a family man, a family woman. You, ha you want to have a family. If you have a family already, you want to make sure that you, your family is taken care of. So what I'm channeling right now, what's coming through with these flyers is that there's trouble at home. There's tr if you have a family already, there's things are a little bit up ended, uprooted, upside down. There's trouble. There's turmoil. There's conflict. <clears throat> but it's something you're trying to resolve with the nine of wands here. This is you're 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 pushing through. You're persevering. You're trying to make things right. You're trying to get through it because you know you guys. You're a family. I mean, if you're if you have a family already, you you're a close knit. Family, so you're trying to just make things right. What do we have? Oh, Lord. <laughs> the lovers. Ah, God, I'm going to start crying. The lovers. There is love here. There is a deep connection here. There is very much an energy of persevering, trying to get through it. Whoever you're dealing with, whether you're already in a family, whether you're already in a committed relationship, whether you're already dating someone and you guys are feeling turmoil, or if you're not dating someone right now, um, I'm getting this is not this is this is not necessarily for people who are single. It could actually, you know what? I'm wrong. It could be if you're because if you are single, this is your focus, the lovers. Okay, you want to be in a relationship. Oh, sorry guys. You want to be in a relationship, okay? You want to have a family. You want to have a, the, that deep connection with someone. If you haven't met this person yet, you're looking for it, all right? So overall, for everyone that I'm channeling for, whether across the spectrum, whether you're you're single to uh, whether you're single and haven't met someone to you're single and you have met someone that you really care for deeply or you're all the way to you're in a committed relationship, okay? Ten of Pentacles, the ultimate fulfillment. This is what your focus is. But for who I'm channeling for right now and what these flyers are talking to, there's conflict. Things are blocked. This this Ten of Pentacles right here, energy, whatever that, however that resonates for you, there's blockage, Okay. But I, but the energy is still of perseverance is good. This is good. I know it feels troublesome right now, but this is good, Taurus. Okay, and whoever whoever is cross watching for the Taurus, whoever's connecting with the Taurus, this is good, because there's an energy of uh, what I'm getting with the lovers here is there's an energy of recognition. Whether you want to be in a relationship or you've met someone and you want to be with them or you're already in the relationship, the lovers here is saying the connection is deep and the connection is strong. Perse I'm literally here, I literally just heard perseverance is necessary because this is a relationship that can stand the test of time. Okay? Whew. Something else wants to pop out. The fool. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. The fool. So for some of you, there's a new beginning coming, a, a fresh start. Somebody wants to start over. There is an energy of, of desiring a new beginning. So for a lot of you, okay, so I'm seeing a few more scenarios here. For some of you, for those of you who are single, you might actually be getting into an energy of, I'm ready to start anew. I'm ready to take a leap of faith and jump into a new relationship. I'm ready to open my heart again. I'm ready to want to be in a relationship. That's either you, Taurus, or it's someone you're connecting with, or it's a cross, whatever. If it's a cross watcher, obviously it's someone you've already met, Taurus, okay? Um, if you're with someone, 
if you're with someone, there might I'm picking up there's an energy of starting over and not necessarily being with this person anymore. But that's only resonating with a, a select few. If you are if you're in an energy of you're really did this this conflict here, this ten of pentacles, um this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, Lord, there is a lot coming through right now, guys. And we're just in the flyers. We haven't even gotten to the rest of the <laughs> reading. But there is an energy of... Um, there's a home situation or there is an established material situation that is not resonating. And you're ready to start anew. You want to move on. There is a choice because the, not, the, 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 the lovers also talks about a choice. So there's a choice that is either needs to be made or is being made. And someone's ready to move on to something new. Start afresh, start anew, take a leap of faith. Now, if you are with some, if you are in a committed relationship and um, things are at odds here with the Ten of Pentacles and you want to work things out, if that's you, if that's how you're resonating with the situation, the fool is saying there is a fresh start coming. There is a chance to work this out. For some of you, there is an energy of wanting to leave some sort of home situation, family situation, um, established material situation, it could be a job, in order to be with someone that you truly love and care for with the lovers here. Also, there is an energy of wanting all of that, but in order to be truer to yourself with the lovers here. Because the lovers also talks about um, a choice between someone else's, at least for me, a choice between someone else's wishes or someone uh, what your true desires are. So instead of giving into what others want, which would be the vice, because I see the lovers, especially when it's depicted this way, I see the lovers as a choice between vice and virtue. So in this sense, if it's not about a love relationship, it's about the vice being choose, uh, honoring someone else's wishes over the virtue of honoring your own wishes, okay? And with the Ten of Pentacles here, obviously whoever else, someone else's wishes are not resonating with you, okay? Because the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. So now you've got an energy of, boop, starting over, fresh new start, leap of faith to honor yourself. Okay, all right, cool. Whew. Damn, we're already 10 minutes into the... <laughs> 10 minutes into the reading, guys. I haven't even gotten to the spread yet. Holy shit. All right. Taurus. Ooh, all right. So now that green energy is gone. The facade is gone. <laughs> the, I'm sorry, the lime green energy. Now I'm just I'm just seeing the darker green. The, the It's a forest green. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just, it's very real, very true, and very honest. It's very down to earth, this color that I'm seeing. It's similar. It, it's, this, it's a deep, it's like a forest green. It's grounding. It's um, truthful. It's honest. All right, Taurus. One more, damn. One more shuffle. <laughs> All right. This is this is intense already, guys. Woo. Here we go, Taurus. Overall energy for the month of September. We've got. Uh oh. We've got the chariot, but it's in reverse. All right. Sorry, I had to take a sip of coffee here. Um. You could be dealing with a cancer. Cancer could be in your chart. Um, the chariot in reverse. Why? I, I, I'm feeling compelled to ask you a question. Why aren't you making a move? Why aren't you moving forward? I have a song, uh, that song, make that move right now, baby. Make it. The universe has been asking you to make this move, hasn't it, Taurus? Why are you being so stagnant? Why are you feeling so stuck? You feel like, you might feel like you can't make a move. Hmm. What's going on here? Okay. All right. We've got the star. Wish fulfillment. Healing. But here is why you can't, you feel like you can't make that move. Five of swords. This is why you're not making the move, isn't it? There's conflict. For the most part, I'm feeling like this conflict is from the past. But it's still active. Like So it's something that happened in the past. What I'm seeing with this energy is that 
both sides of the equation feel like this. But this is self-defeating energy. Okay? And what the universe is saying is, you have to let this go. You have to let this go, Taurus. Or whoever, whoever is connecting with you, uh, cross watchers here, you guys have got to let this go. Someone has got to just make a move and step up and say, I'm sorry. Okay, healing is here. This very well could happen over this month. You could be dealing with an Aquarius too, because this is the star. This star talks about the Aquarius, about Aquarius. Under, oh my goodness. Underneath the deck, underneath everything else, we've got judgment and it is upright. And you know, judgment is like, is a call. Sure. So this is the call the universe has been sending out to you to make a move. But you know what else this means? This talks about reconciliation. I know, Taurus, I know, Taurus, there has been a ton of conflict. And I am not going to go around starting to point fingers because the energy that I'm feeling right now is both of you are, are at fault for something. Okay, but, and I don't even want to use that word, fault. Fuck fault. Fuck that. Both of you are responsible. Relationships. All relationships are a two-way street. And when you're placing blame on each other, you're actively engaging in Five of Swords energy. You both love each other deeply. Deeply. This is talk. This is okay, so this is obviously for people that are are connecting with someone right now. And I'm hearing have been connecting with someone with with, with, with this other person for some time. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's get into let's get into the storyline here. For the first half of the month, um, current energies. First set of current energies. You've got here. You are Taurus, the Hierophant. Now the Hierophant is reversed. So I'm getting um, for some for some of you, you may not have been listening to your higher self. True, because your higher self has been asking you to make a move, to talk, to reach out to break the ice somehow. But the Hierophant in reverse um, is not all bad. It could talk about learning, okay? When it's upright, it can talk about being the teacher. When it's reversed, it talks about being the student. And that's what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing this is you. This is Taurus energy for the Tauren, okay? So you're getting downloads from your higher self. You're getting instructions from your higher self, okay? Pa, uh, fa, uh, the Hierophant in reverse is coupled with the Seven of Swords in reverse. You're learning, ooh, Taurus, you're learning how to get past this right now. The Seven of Swords in reverse is talking about, um, I'm hearing releasing ego, releasing deception from the past. You're learning about what I, the energy that I'm getting from the Hierophant in reverse and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Your higher self is really teaching you, is helping you understand why you may have dealt with all this deception. I'm hearing you're also you're coming to terms with it. That could be the learning or the, the, the yeah the counseling even that you're receiving. It it and it's all coming from the universe and your higher self. So. Yeah. You're coming to terms with the Seven of Swords energy. How you've been deceived and how someone has deceived you. And how you have been, I'm sorry, how you have been deceived and how you have been deceptive. Relationships are a two-way street, guys. Okay? Second set of current energies we've got. Oh, the Ace of Pentacles. So this is good, Taurus. This is... This is either you extending the offer. This is either you reaching out and saying, hey, can we start over? Or this is someone coming towards you and saying the same thing. All right. Ace of Pentacles is coupled with, ooh, the Ten of Cups in reverse. Wow. <laughs> this is an offer to start over. Literally, this is an offer to start over, whether it's coming from you or somebody else. I, 
I'm literally hearing the, the phrases, hey, I'm sorry, can we start over? I love you. <laughs> wow. That's really beautiful, Taurus. Or cross-watcher. <laughs> Current challenge for the first half of the month we have, yeah, look at that. The Three of Swords in reverse. Heartbreak, but it's releasing it. It's getting past this. It's getting over the heartbreak, heartbreak from the past. Three of Swords is coupled with the Five of Wands. There's still some con conflict. So the, tr the, the challenge is... Um, dealing with these opposing views. It's dealing with the opposing sides to the story. It's dealing with each other's point of view, coming to terms with it, hashing it out, talking about it. But it's challenging because you need to be receptive in how the other person feels. You need to understand that their point of view is valid as well. Regardless of who did what, it doesn't matter. Both points of view are valid here. That can be challenging. It definitely can. Okay. Uh, potential outcome for the first half of the month. The devil in reverse. Hell yeah, guys. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn. But also, releasing the toxicity. Releasing... Wow, I love this. Letting go of the rift between the two of you is what I heard. Fucking right, Taurus. Coupled with... Ah, the sun in reverse. Well, the sun is here and that's good. It's reversed. So, okay, so what I'm, what I'm getting is that, yeah, there's potential to release this devil energy, however that resonates with you. And what I'm getting is the devil here is this rift between these two people. It may not look exactly as you want it to right now, which is what the sun in reverse is saying, but the sun is still here. So it means that everything is actually going to work out just fine. It's actually gonna turn out for the best moving forward. But you just gotta get through this first, okay? Honestly, uh, to be quite honest, the energy that I'm getting from the sun in reverse here is really not that bad. It's actually very, very good. It's very reconcili reconciliatory. Reconciliatory. I think that's a word. It's a beautiful energy. The, I really feel like the only reason the sun is in reverse here is because it's just a hurdle. You just have to get over this hump. And everything is going to turn out just fine. All right? Second half of the month. First set of upcoming energies. Six of pentacles. Upright. Okay. So there's a balance now. A balance has been stricken between give and take. Six of pentacles is coupled with... Ooh, the king of cups in reverse. Okay. So when it comes to, it could be a water sign, again, Cancer, because we had the chariot here, but it could also be a Pisces or a Scorpio. Uh, doesn't have to be, though. But what I'm seeing here is where in the past there was someone that was, and as I'm saying this, I keep hearing reconciliatory. I'm hearing, I keep hearing reconciliation. So what this is saying with the King of Cups in reverse and the Six of Pentacles, where someone was not receptive or emotionally available in the past, now they really might be. Change has happened when it comes to um, balancing give and take emotionally and all that stuff. Yeah, look at that. My my feather just fell. And people have been saying that when my feather falls, it's it's um confirmation. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to take it as that, guys. Boop. <laughs> All right. For the second half of the month, second set of of uh current energies or upcoming energies, we've got the Queen of Wands in reverse. Could be the Divine Feminine, but that's not really what I'm picking up here. What I, the first thing I heard with the Queen of Wands in reverse is releasing some sort of ego, 
Um, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, could be releasing some sort of egoic behavior. It could also be releasing a karmic partner, letting go of a karmic partner, turning down a karmic partner. Um, the Queen of Wands, it's interesting because I always looked at the Queen of Pentacles as a karmic partner, but actually, yeah, I, and, and as I've been listening to other people, I've been seeing the connection. It, the Queen of Wands could also be a par karmic partner too. But with this in reverse here, in this reading, I'm getting an energy of releasing something. The Queen of Wands in reverse is coupled with, oh shit, the Empress in reverse. Whoa, this is divine feminine energy here. My goodness, give me a second, guys, because it's so crazy. It, it's so nuts, because I always attributed, and me personally, I always thought the Queen of Wands was an expression of the, of the divine feminine energy in the physical form, and in the spiritual form, um, the, the Empress represented the divine feminine. And the one time I actually say the Queen of Wands could actually be a karmic partner, it comes out with the Empress. <laughs> That's intense. Um, this is definitely divine feminine energy. What I'm getting here, what I'm getting with the Queen of Wands and the Empress in reverse, for those of us Taurans that have been, or someone that's connected with a Taurus, for those of you who have been in a karmic partnership, now I'm, talk, I'm talking, most for the most part, I'm talking twin flames. But it also could be like divine partners. It could be soulmates too. But uh, actually, it really could be anybody. It doesn't have to be twin flames. It could be anybody. But uh, I'm getting an energy of somebody was in a, a karmic relationship thinking that they could replace or be who this Empress and Queen of Wands energy, thinking that they could be this, but they weren't. They're not. It's false. And now it's that's being released here. Or if it's, and, and yeah, it's being released. It actively is ending. It's coming to an end. Someone's ending it. Or someone's coming to the realization that this person is not and will never be, will never be this person, this other person that's trying to be replaced. That's what I'm getting with the, with the Queen of Wands in reverse and the Empress in reverse. All right. Wow. Um, yeah. Someone's really, really... I'm trying to see if there are some other definitions, but the energy that I'm getting from this is like, you, this person that, that someone has been in a relationship is, is not and will never be who you're truly in love with. And that's not to say that they're, they're bad or they're less than or anything. It's just they will never be that other person that you really want to be with. The upcoming challenge for the second half of the month, Ace of Cups, is upright. Extending an offer. See, look, okay, see, look. Someone's coming out of emotional unavailability and is willing to give into a balanced situation. They're realizing that whoever they've been with is not and will never be the love of their life just because they're just not the same. You can't, you, this person is not replaceable. And so then the challenge there is extending an offer of love with the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is coupled with aw, the Page of Cups. But the Page of Cups is in reverse. Could be a Pisces. The challenge here Look at that, guys. The challenge here is to stop dreaming and extend this offer. The challenge is to stop dreaming and extend the offer. Because the Page of Cups is very much a dreamer. <laughs> um, potential outcome for the second half of the month. Whoa, the Knight of Cups upright. So there's that offer. 
There's that extension. There's that invitation, whatever. And I'm going to be straight up and honest with you guys. The Ten of Cups. My attention was just drawn to the Ten of Cups. Why? This offer is going toward, is moving. Is This is an energy of moving towards the ultimate relationship here. The love of a lifetime. The love that can stand a test of time. <laughs> no matter what happens. That's beautiful, guys. Look, I, and I, it's funny because I just wanted to say everybody wishes for something like that, right? But nobody really understands what it takes to have that. If you really want a love that's going to stand the test of time, then you have to be in a situation with someone that stands the test of time, that goes through the bullshit, the fuckery with the five swords here. All You see all that fuckery right here with the five of swords? You got to get through it. You got to push through it. You got to persevere. The nine of wands that came out in the flyers, you got to persevere. If you want, if you tell the universe you want a love that's going to stand the test of time, the universe is going to give it to you, but they're going to test you. They're going to push every single button that you have and all the other ones that you didn't even know you had. <laughs> All right, the Knight of Cups is coupled with the moon. Ooh. Well, 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 well. First of all, can we look, can we take a second to go back to the beginning of the month, the first half of the month? The potential outcome is the devil in reverse and the sun in reverse. All right, cute. Now let's fast forward to the second half of the month. The potential outcome is the Knight of Cups upright and the moon upright. Huh. Okay. Do you see the mirroring energy here? So what this is saying to me is you may not necessarily get that offer this month. You might. Or you might not. You might. It's entirely possible. What's also possible is that you might get the offer, but it may not be exactly what you thought it would be. It may not come in the form that you wanted, that you were looking for. But it might. it's there, though. That's what I want to say. That's what I wanted to say after that. It's there. It just doesn't look exactly how you think it should, you want it to. It may not be the full offer that you were hoping for, but it's coming. It may happen this month. It may not happen this month. I'm getting an energy of... <laughs> okay. I keep hearing, I keep hearing a love that's going to stand the test of time. A love that stands the test of time. Stands the test of time. That's what I keep hearing in association with this. So I, it's hard for me to put it in words right now, but there is an energy of the, the offer is coming. It just may not happen when you want it to. It may not happen. It may not look the way you want it to. You may not be able to see it too clearly. I'm also getting an, an energy of listen to your intuition. So the moon and the Knight of Cups may, might be saying, use your intuition when it comes to extending the offer. So if you're the, okay, so for the cross watcher or for the Taurus that's looking to extend the offer, whoever, what, whoever in this energy is looking to extend the offer, the universe is asking you to use your intuition when it comes to how to actually act that out. Wow. The moon talks about secrets. <clears throat> so the fact that someone wants to extend an offer to you could still be a, remain a secret at that time. All right, guys. Wow. Holy shit. That was intense. Um, I mean, let's get into the Oracle guidance now for Taurus for September. So spirit, please bring forward the best messages. For Taurus from the unicorns in relation to this reading for the for September 
2018. I'm going to give it one more shuffle. Oh, also, the Empress could be a Taurus, too. Just want to point that out. <laughs> so, Taurus, you're potentially showing up in your reading twice here. Um, there are some other energies within the Empress that that could be, but I don't really know who they are. All right. Oracle guidance here from the unicorns for you, Taurus. There we go. There's one. All right. I'm going to look underneath the deck. Okay. I'm going to take this too. So we've got intention here. Be clear and decisive. Focus on what you really want. Be bold with your requests to the universe. So this is definitely an energy of state state your intentions and don't hold anything back with the universe, okay? But the first card that came out for you, Taurus, we have magic. Make a wish. Believe in miracles. Magic surrounds you. So these these two it, these two cards are perfect. They go hand in hand. If you truly want to reconcile with someone, it can happen. Believe in miracles, all right? Be <laughs> believe in miracles, guys. It says it right there on the magic card. Believe in miracles, state your intentions, and hold on to it. Don't let fear get in your way. Wow. <laughs> so there it is, Taurus. That really was an intense reading. It's a good reading, though. I'm looking at the potential outcomes for the month, the first half and the second half, and I just the mirroring is 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 insane. I mean, it's literally it's literally saying that all is not what it seems with the sun in reverse and then the moon upright. It it makes me a little bit nervous. I wish. I wish things could be clearer. Me personally, like my son is in Taurus and I'm <laughs> and when it comes in it comes to love, okay, well that's that's with the western chart, okay? With the with the eastern the uh, uh Vedic chart, my my son is in Aries. Um but on western my my Venus is in Aries. And so I tend to be very direct, upfront and honest when it comes to love. Like if I truly care about you, Regardless of whether I'm in, like, I, you're, like, a romantic interest or just, like, a dear friend, a deep connection, like, someone I really care about, really, whatever, I'm going to be as upfront and honest with you as I possibly can. I'm not going to beat around the bush. So, I, so with this kind of, like, this energy of some things are still kind of hidden, I don't personally like that. I wish everything could just be, like, direct, but... Sometimes it needs to be, I guess. I don't know. But I just wish things could be a little more, I don't know. That's just personally for me. But again, hello, that's the lesson in this. That the universe is literally saying, but Eric, that's the lesson here. You just have to trust. Things are not as, things are not as bad as they look. And then with these, with these cards here, like magic, believe in miracles, intention state your intentions here be bold go for what it is you truly want everything can work out you just have to believe reconciliation is on the table judgment reconciliation is on the table guys literally that i'm not and, and, and it's funny because i started saying it as if like 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 the phrase like whatever something's on the table but literally <laughs> literally reconciliation is on the table <laughs> all right guys i love you all so much thank you so much for tuning in and i look forward to connecting with you again for the month of october yeah take care Mwah! bye